This ad is supposed to remind you of hackers and shows about hackers. Listen to Left Handed Radio. Hey, everybody. Uh, it's Brett. Um, you may have heard some of the things that happened uh, out in L.A. Uh, L.A. was not good for me. Physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, and I made some mistakes. Some bad ones. Uh, you know, there were rumors flying around. Something that happened under a bridge. It's fine. Um, but I'm back. I'm back in New York City. Uh, I've moved back into my uh, family's home. Um, and I'm uh, recording uh, uh, episodes of the podcast for Laundry back out here now. And I will be... Um, Recording a live episode of the podcast for laundry at the 2018 NYC Podfest at Abrams Art Center on Sunday, April 8th, 2018 at 2.45 p.m. That's sweet spot for entertainment. And I'm so proud to announce that not only is it the live debut of the show outside of a laundromat, which, you know, I'm kind of not into, but uh, we are welcoming a very special guest, Kid in the Hall, Kevin McDonald will join us. He's the host of Kevin McDonald's Kevin McDonald show on Forever Dog, uh, who um, are contractually obligated conti to continue airing my podcast. Thank you very much. Uh, so please check it out. Uh, Sunday, April 8th, 2.45 uh, p.m. Get your tickets now at nycpodfest.com. Now it's time for the show. I don't have an apartment Sometimes I feel like Tidy's my only friend But the city I lived in The city of angels Made me feel lonely So I said goodbye I lived on the streets with a bottle companion I ate all her pills, slept in her laundromat I stalked famous people and hurt my friend Ty Brady. Ran from the police, now there's blood on my hands Oh, I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I love, to New York City. I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I love, to New York City. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the podcast for laundry. I'm your host, Brett Davis. Uh, I am feeling like I am in a, a better place, both literally and figuratively. This is the podcast for laundry. If this is your first time listening, welcome. Uh, uh, in the, on the show, we time the podcast so that it uh, extends to the length of an average wash cycle. And, uh, you know, feel free to listen to another one for the drying. Uh, uh, and we also talk about laundry, um, which is, you know, uh, a, a huge passion of mine. And uh, we are actually in, uh, in the back of a laundromat at the moment. Uh, we are here at the Time One Laundry and Dry right outside of Times Square. And I want to thank my three guests for coming all the way out here, uh, some from very far. First, we got Jamie Loftus. Hi, I'm still recovering from when the chorus hit during the song. <laughs> All three of yeah. us jumped four feet in the yeah. air. Sorry, uh, sorry about that. Oh, no, it was uh, beautiful. A lot of people are kind of thrown by my passion for things. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Especially laundry. It's Ish. unique to be passionate. Mm -hmm. Right? A shock a to the system. These days, yeah. 
Uh, then we've got Sarah Sherman. Hi. Sarah Hello. Squirm. That's me. That's my, here I am. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, when the peps were thrown on the table, everyone was shocked. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, you know, uh, people discredit Kiedis's poetry. You know, he was under the bridge downtown doing heroin when he was 15. So that sort of gives him a personality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some would say uh, under the bridge is uh, where I drew blood too. And then we've got uh, Mitra Juhari. Hi, Brad. <laughs> uh, I, I said that. I don't ever be. That's do you want me to put on the instrumental track? No. <laughs> oh, but it's actually, yeah. actually a hard note. Oh, sorry. We're at the. Uh, oh, we're at the this outro. Song. Those are, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 you to play da, da, Take me yeah. all the way. Uh -huh. Today we're talking about laundry. Uh, I want to introduce uh, a uh, a bottle of uh, Tide. Um, I'm going to put this right on the table, right in the center. Um, if at any point during the conversation, one of you, and you could only do this once, uh, can actually turn the bottle so you turn the tide of the conversation. Wow. I love a visual metaphor. Yeah. Uh, but just be gentle with her. Okay. So... Uh, uh, you know, uh, let's just dive right into it. Um, I'll go around the uh, our little circular table here. And once again, thanks again for Time One Laundry and Dry. Uh, these Times Square uh, spaces, they've got nice digs. I think this is the nicest uh, back room we've ever recorded the podcast in. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, first, uh, Jamie, um, yeah. what's your history with laundry? I used to read laundry. Oh, I was kind of like a like a late bloomer. I didn't learn laundry for a long time. My dad and I learned laundry together. <laughs> oh, probably around two thousand and nine when my mom went away. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's nice. Uh, we learned how to, to do laundry. We learned how to microwave things. Learn how to change the channel. <laughs> mom did everything for a long time. Change the channel. Change the channel. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, it's my history with laundry. And these days, I do it. Uh, oh, well, what's what is an what is the right amount of time? Do, oh, do not. What I do Oof. it. Uh, what what is an average like? What once a week? Oh, I would do it about. I do it about once every six weeks. Oh wow! Okay, that's not enough. So you're wearing uh, dirty clothes right now. Hundred percent. There's okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I've actually got th three bags of dirty clothes with me right now. Well, you know, I'm in the perfect place. Do you want me to toss them in the wash? My treat. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll okay. be right back. What a nice guy. That was really nice of him to do your oh, laundry. Nice guy. I That's know. Really sweet. Now I never have to learn. He's doing a lot of emotional and physical labor for you right now, which is sort of sweet. Honestly, reparations. It's good. Honestly, it's good. <laughs> it's good. He does owe you to do. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Really? Every six weeks? I don't. Know I don't. I mean, I can't set a clock. I know that it. Every time I do it, I'm like, oh, I should have done this a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> like you just. Do you ever? Okay. When you're like, when you just go to the center of your room where your laundry is collected, and mm -hmm. you scoop in it a up. Pile. Do you stick your face in it? And you're just like, oh. I put my face in the crotch. I in the in the crotch of all my underwear and see if it's passable. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you got to make sure, like, there's no visible stains or any... But even then, sometimes, I mean... I sweat so much that all my armpit stains have, like, uh, are, they're discolored. Are you sweaty? Oh, I'm beyond. not sweaty. My stink just comes out. I don't know where it <laughs> comes from. It's an airy... It's a general aura. It's an airy... It's like... It's a, yeah, it's a, just a... It's a major odor, but it's, like, not wet. I grow, I grow out all my armpit hair. One of the reasons, because it like kind of absorbs a lot of the sweat. That sounds really nice. Yeah, I feel like I'm really smellier nice. when I have the armpit hair. I feel like if I shave the armpit hair, then more of my like pores of smell are exposed to the outside world, and the hair kind of covers it's it like and a absorbs net. it. It's a net. Yeah, I don't know what's right for, but for me, I feel smellier 
and I'm sure it's just what I've been like socialized to think, but right. I feel grosser when I have. You yeah, sort of let's unpack that. You sort of let's unpack that. But I prefer to let the hair grow out. But I, but I really feel like I smell more when I leave it out. I like, I like when the hair grows out. But I'm too fidgety. If I have anything to fidget with, I will like. I've like, <laughs> literally like the one time I truly grew it out in earnest. I was like, I was like reaching. I was like, I just wanted to fidget with my own armpit hair. And guess what? People do not love that. People don't like when you're sitting in the middle of a laundromat braiding like, your armpit um, hair. Excuse me. Yeah. Just like give it, just like give it a little squish. Have you guys seen Thank my armpit you. hair? Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's really good. I think I, Brett, sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Hi, Brett. Sorry, I gave you a lot of laundry. No, no, my pleasure. I love it, it. It really, I feel like I'm doing a lot. I hope you were talking about laundry. Oh. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. Yes. Cool. <laughs> cool. Then I don't have to edit it out. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, uh, any, any other thoughts about laundry? I, I really feel like I got to the, it. I got to the bottom of it. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't really do it that much, but I dabble. Okay. Yeah. Sarah. Can I sort of ask a question to the room? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you guys wash on cold? Yes. Usually. Yeah. I wash on complete cold and it's sort of starting to occur to me that maybe it doesn't get my clothes as clean. Mm. It, it's. It's doing damage to the things that are meant to be washed on warm or hot. Are there objects that are meant to be washed on warm? You got to read the tags. I can't. I just, I'm really busy, actually. <laughs> I really can't. Okay. I like when it's... <laughs> well, you know, find some time. Because if you wash it on warm, you're supposed to separate the colors, right? Yes. Yes. And I cannot fathom that activity. I cannot. Oh, I wash not cold. Good? I dry... I tumble dry low, gentle. I want everything cold so that colors yeah. don't bleed and things don't shrink. I'm terrified of shrinking, but also when something doesn't fit anymore, I was like, it drunk. Radical for a woman to be terrified of shrinking. Take I'm up space, radical. expand. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to get as large as I possibly can. <laughs> okay, but like, let's not joke about shrinking your clothes. I'm but let's sorry. sort of I, I, yeah. joke about... um. I'm sorry, I just kicked a microphone. That was really rude of That's me. That's totally fine. But I got really upset because, like, let's not sort of joke about, um, you know, global warming. Because actually, when you wash things on cold, it saves energy. So I'm sort of a radical. Well, that's why you got to invest. Yeah. You have to invest yeah. in an energy saving appliance. Mm, that's really interesting. Yeah. I sort of okay. Yeah. Okay. It's it's just part part of uh, consciousness is a part of being a good laundry head. That's <laughs> laundry hat. Right, 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 mm -hmm. right, 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 right. But you know, I am a bit old school, and sometimes I just like, you know what? I'm not even going to look into it. I'm just going to go into this laundromat and you know have fun with it. <laughs> sort I of like, improvise. I like yeah. scraping. I like scraping the lint catcher. That is That's really one of the best feelings in the world. It's a fun moment. Sometimes yeah. I'll do it like because I don't do a lot of laundry, but I live with three people. Sometimes we'll just. Do you have laundry in your house? Garage? Yeah. <gasps> I'll go LA. in the garage and just do a little scrapey scrape and be like, oh, who's got... That me? makes me want to cry. <laughs> Yorin's Lint. You'll be there soon. Wait, where you do you Check out Yorin's Lint anytime you want. I go uh, around the corner to do laundry. So it's very close, but it still uh, makes it a, an event. But sure. I like the event because I like bring my computer. I do work for a couple hours and mm -hmm. I could leave. I could trust my neighbors, but I don't. Mitra, you're, you're talking about living in New York City. Living in New York City. Mm -hmm. Some people have it in their apartments and they are... Rich. That, um, <laughs> or if you live in Chicago and you live in a sh an amazing Chicago style apartment, you have alleys and you have basements with a million laundry machines in it. So everybody moved to Chicago. Hello. Yeah, wow. Chicago seems like fun. I just uh, moved back to the city. Oh, yeah. From where? Uh, I was uh, West Coast. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Wait, near me. Jamie's West Coast. Near me. I'm West Coast. Yeah. Right. Where? Uh, Los Angeles. Yeah, I was there. Well, that's nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We've got a uh, little bit of space. You can scrape scrape your room in Flint. I wonder if you guys ever cross paths. Yeah. Do you guys? Uh, well, I mean, uh, we did. We saw each other one time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I was on, it was on the street, Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Hollywood. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was there. I was I was living in Hollywood. I was just kissing the stars. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I started every morning kissing the stars. Oh, what's your favorite star? What's your go-to star? What's my favorite star? Oh, I mean, there's, I mean, the stars are out. Uh, I like to visit. Uh, I like to. Uh, uh, does I don't know. What, does Fats Domino have a star? Well, that Fats just Domino does have a star. Yeah. I love that star, and I kiss it. And every you know day. that for a fact that. <laughs> well, no, no, I absolutely know that for a fact because it was a uh, one that I would just see frequently on my. Um, 
He was outside the seven down, yeah. And That's so cool. you were there quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I wish we'd seen each other more. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think I maybe saw you a little more than I, uh, you saw me because I kind of, my, my look changed a little bit out there. Huh. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. to the point where I wouldn't like recognize you? Maybe. I, I adopted like, I started wearing like this big sun hat that I there must are. have. There's a bunch of those. Yeah, I might have missed it. Yeah, so I think some somebody left it uh, somewhere, and I just was like, "Man, yeah, I'll use it." <laughs> and then I sort of like uh, had this like thrifting, uh, thrifting. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, like a recycling. long like ladies cardigan with the the sleeves had kind of fallen off. Uh, it's like a vest. Yeah, sort of like a cardigan, like a long cardigan vest with like uh, f- frayed edges at the at the end. Then um. Uh, Bohemian, it's like a fringe, yeah. like a fringe vest is what you're describing. Yeah, and I guess Mitra, you saw me b- before I left for LA, and I've lost quite a bit of weight. So, yeah. Congratulations if that's something you wanted. And yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I, I lost a little weight, got a nice tan, and now I'm, um, I'm just, I'm just feeling like I'm getting back to me. I love yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I threw the the sun hat out, and uh, I'm back, and everything. You threw it out. I threw it out. You could have just sort of donated it, even. Yeah, I mean, isn't that how you came across it? <laughs> I, pay it forward, pay it forward. Yeah, it was just like a little damaged. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What happened? We've to all it? been there. I don't want to. Uh, did we talk, Mitra? Did you talk about laundry? Like, okay, okay then uh, uh, now it's time for uh, what's your turge? Oh, hold for bumper. Uh, 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 Jamie, what's your turge? What's your, what's your church? What's your what's your church? What's your church? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. oh, oh, oh. My tur, my turge, uh, would be all. That's a brand, right? Mm-hmm. All. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I have a I have a, p- a bottle of all that I've had for about two years because I don't do a lot of laundry. Okay. The big bottle though. Sick. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for asking. Yeah. Well. That's my turge. Okay. Any any other thoughts about it? Uh, it's purple. I, I think that my roommate oh, Yarn okay. uses it. What what brand? No. Uh, Sarah, Sorry. what's your turge? I think I use Tide. Yeah. And like, wait, really? Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. I'm a Tide, I'm a tide yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I use the um um. There's like a uh. It's like Coral Spring yeah, flavor. Yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. I like Tide because it has like a bold bottle, so you're kind of drawn to it in the Target. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Some real advertising power, yeah. yeah. Real s- sleek, sexy uh, bottle that they have there. And my yeah. boy, I just moved in with my boyfriend, and he used Myers, but I didn't understand because you know how that's like, oh, you only need a teaspoon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't keep up with what they needed from me, so I just kind of went back to Tide. Yeah. I mean, Tide really makes it easy. They got like the nice lid and, uh, or the, the, the cap, and, you know, except, I, yeah, you just know what you're doing. And the cap has a really amazing contrast with the bottle. Yeah. Blue hat on mm-hmm. a red body. Are you kidding me? Honey, mm-hmm. slay. Oh, <laughs> Honey, yeah. queen, go off. Yes, on two slay. <laughs> slay, queen, drag her slay. Slay, queen, drag a slay. <laughs> oh, and we're back. Yeah. The Tide body is really sexy. It's a sexy, it's full. Mm-hmm. It's a full mm-hmm. body model. Yeah. It's a full figure, yeah. Because mm-hmm. Myers is so slim. It's it's honestly I rude. I love my curvy tie. Oh, I love my <laughs> <laughs> Mitra? Um, I have some Tide left over, but I, I think it's act- I think my skin is sensitive to it, so I have to find oh. like a okay. a gentler thing. I hate mm-hmm. to say it, but Myers. Okay. Tide the Gentle? It, I think so. Oh. I, I will say Tide, if you expose it to your skin enough, you will build up a sort of it's sort of you know, it's like It's only recent, but I'm I'm trying to pinpoint what is making me my skin. Just expose yourself. Up. Just expose yourself to it regularly, and your skin will get used to it. Oh yeah, sort of like uh, having a little bit of poison until your body uh, is acclimated to poison. And I, I, I wouldn't call it poison, but yeah, just, just yeah, you could drink Tide and be fine. <laughs> Hello. I mean, you could. Um. Can I can I kind of throw my sun hat in the ring here? Sure, sure. Yeah. They make uh, laundry detergent for babies. That's good for everyone for baby skin. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's a great idea. That's I know, Regina. Thank you. That's that's my yeah. action item for the podcast. Is I will <laughs> buy laundry detergent. We came here to learn. Okay, yeah. babies. I would love if everybody had an action item I at the end of this. Thrive on um, external 
validation and action items. So it's mm -hmm. good to leave this with that. Yeah. <laughs> you can leave with this and I will leave with that. It's a, it's almost like a queer eye sort of situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Getting queer eyed by the cis table, the cis straight right. table, <laughs> yeah. cis straight white table. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're sort of colonizing you with our detergent. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, 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 I I I uh, wanted to get into this. Uh, I found it online um, during my travels and. Uh, I thought it was really great, and I'm just gonna jump right into it. It's a uh, it's a romance novel. It's called Dirty Laundry. Oh, oh wow! A Tucker Springs novel. Mm, the, the the course of true love doesn't always run clean, but sometimes getting dirty is half the fun. Entom entomology grad student Adam Ellery meets Denver Rogers, a muscle bound hunk of sexy, when Denver effortless effortlessly dispatches the drunken frat boys harassing Adam at the Tucker Springs laundromat. Thanking him turns into flirting, and then, much to Adam's delight, hot sex over the laundry table. Uh, there's more about uh, th th this couple, but uh, it, it got me thinking. I I want to write a uh, a laundry romance novel. I love that. Wow. I love that for mm -hmm. you. So is this technically a romance novel or is it like erotica? If it's like mm. hot sex. Uh, I'll show you the cover of it and uh, oh, nice. you can check it out. It's by Heidi Cullinan. Um, we've got a... Oh, this is Amazon published erotica. There yeah. we go. Uh, yeah. We've got a, uh, I love a, that. a beefy cowboy with a tattoo and just ripped muscles. And then it looks like Joe Parra. I was about to say <laughs> Joe Parra. Yeah. Can I sneak a peek? <laughs> Oh, oh, it's yeah. his name Denver Rogers? There we go. Yeah. And there's actually oh, wow. an audible None sample. None of Adam Ellery's fantasies had ever involved a muscle-bound and cowboy hat-wearing avenging angel. <laughs> but they would now. In hindsight, it had been a dumb idea to come to the laundromat this late on a Friday night. Assuming there would be less traffic than on Saturday morning, Adam had trekked out on a cool Colorado mountain evening mm -hmm. to take advantage of go. what he'd thought would be the least populated time to wash his clothes. What had ended up happening instead was that Adam became the wash cycle entertainment for a pack of drunk and high frat boys. Been there. They'd Done taken that, his honey. blue briefs, his club shirt, and his ten reasons you shouldn't bug an entomologist tea. Oh. And when Adam tried <laughs> to steal one of them back, they stole his glasses too, oh. right off his face. Oh, no and added them to their giggling game of keep away. Mm, giggling. Blushing and terrified, Adam stood Blushing. in the center of their jeering yeah. semicircle, his back to a table where the contents of his laundry basket had become part of the bully's game. He told himself he'd be fine so long as he didn't panic. They were mostly trying to out-macho each other, stepping on Adam to prove they were bigger and badder Would than the rest. Would your brother ever do this? They weren't think? hurting him, and they might not Seems hurt him at all if yes. he played his Slightly part homophobic. in the game well. Yes. If he was lucky, boy. Yes. he'd just lose a pair of he's, underwear and like a few of his things, favorite shirts. Because he's a pledge master, so. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's a step away unlucky. from harassing Joe Parra at a laundry. You wear this freaky blue shit for Those underwear? Those rituals are very homoerotic. The frat mm -hmm. boys snickered in unison as one of them bumped Adam's shoulder. Snickered in unison. What uh, color are you uh, wearing uh, right uh, now? <laughs> Adam shut his eyes and focused it on his breathing. Cool Colorado he wouldn't give them the satisfaction of pushing him into a panic attack. I'm trying to figure he out wouldn't. where laundry... Another push. Yeah. We're talking to you, fag. There you go. I'm sorry about Please. the language. Adam uh, had been in this position before. It's the it language of the world. It was time for him to be. It is, yeah. Please give Sounds me my like glasses back. Rhetoric. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Show us your underwear first, freak. Mm. There you go. The nervous flutter See, in the that pit of Adam's stomach turned me into horny. sick fear. <laughs> so, so you like this part freak. of it? Show me <laughs> your no, underwear, no. freak. <laughs> okay. His panic congealed okay. and began okay. to rise. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! He's got he some whispered. boxes with some hearts on it. But his Trip fear on. only fueled them now. Strip, faggot. Yes. Someone shoved him in the shoulder sorry. again. Adam sort of realized with a sick I heart know. that he would very soon be stripping or collapsing in a heap and either ending up in the hospital or lying here alone on the floor. Or worse, what would these jackals do to him if he had an attack? Did you say jackals? Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. What the fuck is going on? Yes, oh, character up. voice. I Adam startled, but so did the audio frat boys. Audio One audio of them fiction. swore, and all of them staggered back, parting from their circle around Adam's table. And as his panic fell back to somewhat manageable levels, he was able to see the newcomer. It was a cowboy. <gasps> yes. Cowboy was cut. 
Not handsome. Cut. Not in the let me jack to you cowboy porn mag way, at any rate. He wasn't ugly. Okay. But he didn't have a marble jaw or anything. Ugh, he wasn't going to listen to all slick, of this later. <laughs> I hate that I'm I coming. I was waiting to get to Denver. I didn't even know there was an audible sample, but news to me. Uh, <laughs> That's such a long sample, too. Yeah, it really. Uh, I, I wonder the first what 60 else. Pages. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it, it is a thousand page novel, I'm assuming. An erotic taste. So, uh, while I think I am an erotic person, I don't think I uh, am an expert in um, what other people find erotic. And uh, I, I want this to be a safe space. I don't want anybody to be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, but you're turning the tide. <laughs> no. Okay, I'll turn it back. I'll turn it back. I, I just have one thing to say about the erotic nature of washing machines. Yes. Okay. yes. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shoot. Is everyone okay? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks okay, for just think in. about the object of a laundry machine. There is a large, round, wet hole that vibrates. Are you kidding me, honey? Honey. Mm -hmm. Honey. <laughs> okay, honey. It's gorgeous, honey. <laughs> Introducing <laughs> musical guest, the wet hole. Introducing <laughs> musical guest. I like to look at the wet hole going around and around and around. <laughs> and your host, Tide Pod. <laughs> <laughs> We've been having some fun in the car. <laughs> oh, hey, fun in the car. We were in a car before we came to this laundromat, See and ya. we were talking like this the whole time. I prefer the big dry hole. <laughs> oh, I prefer the chafing dry hole. I prefer the large dry hole that gets very hot. I like the, the <laughs> hole that takes all the wet out of the wet items. <laughs> so just, just to be clear, <laughs> you weren't turning the tide on this concept. You're not uncomfortable with laundry uh, romance novel idea. No, I love the laundry no romance idea. Okay, so I you're not... I was mostly just doing it um, <laughs> as a prank for... to be a bitch. Okay. <laughs> I'm sort of a bitch. I am sort of a bitch, and that's just who I am. <laughs> okay, so Tidy, you're fine. Um, so... Thanks, Brad. Anyway. Oh. I... What? Wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. With me to... <laughs> Musical guest tidy. <laughs> yeah, I call I call the bottle tidy. Um, How yeah. is she able to respond to you? I set up a little system of what I think tidy would say. Oh, nice. And um, it turns out she's a very uh, intelligent, uh, eloquent um, bottle of detergent. So yeah. Detergent. Oh, Brad, you are so sweet. <laughs> oh, she loves you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sort I of think... like those people who fuck their horses. <laughs> sort of like that. Why? Because they're they, they assume um, <laughs> they think they can interpret the body language and the oh yeah yeah physiological yeah. responses of the horse, and that gives them permission to fuck the horse. It's like when uh -huh. people tell oh. me their dog is smiling, but I'm like, how do you know that's a smile? <laughs> <laughs> but like, their consent's not even an issue, an issue with tidy, so. Oh, really? That's sort that... of an interesting dialogue that we can really plunge into and problematize right now. Sounds like something we'll take to the police later. <laughs> don't don't call Tidy. the police. Don't, don't, don't call the police. Tidy blink twice if you need help. <laughs> okay, okay. Tidy, three women are here and we can save you at any moment. All right, ti Tidy's just fine. Let's All turn right. the tide on this toxic relationship. Okay, are you actually turning the tide? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> It's not a it's not a really it's not a relationship. It's just my bottle of tide. Sort of you said my, which is a possessive word. <laughs> I own it, yeah. Okay. Toxic Yay. Toxic masculinity at play. It's, it's, <laughs> Treating women objects like an object. Very interesting. Well, it's, she it's, is it's, your property. She says you're the bottle. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's not a she, it's just a bottle, and like, yeah, it's fine. With a hole in it, a very wet hole. And the voice of a woman. Very interesting. I just... I, it's full if, of chemicals. If you go to text-to-speech, then there's an obvious, uh, just a, f a first link, and it, it just happens to be a, a female voice. Because women are we're designed to serve, that's why all those things are women voices. Please do not stick your little wiener in the wet hole of your curvy tide bottle. You know, can, I, dry can, I out actually, can I actually turn the tide? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Uh -huh. yes, oh. Sort of interesting. I'm going to turn the tide because okay. I'm, oh. I'm uncomfortable. Sort of interesting. Uh -huh. So I'm going to turn the tide. Okay. 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 Under the bridge downtown, that's where I fuck my day. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry? Sorry. <laughs> Can we Making not? my way to a tide. <laughs> tide. My tide is my girlfriend. 
<laughs> oh, okay. we all we all had our fun. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. 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 Thank, okay. Thank you. Thank okay. you, Tidy. Okay. okay. All right. I love you too, Brad. Anyway, <laughs> it's me and Tide now. I've been waiting to get a big one. Tidy, tell me that you like it. Tell me that you like it. <laughs> she loves you, Brad. I. I, yeah, yeah. I, I was I I hit the wrong button on my tidy machine. <laughs> Your tidy whiny little machine. <laughs> Your sorry. little horny sound boy. Sorry, I'm feeling manic. I had a lot of caffeine this morning. No, it's it's okay. It's <laughs> I'm just feeling. Uh, also, by this morning, she means two p.m. <laughs> <laughs> we slept a long time. We did go on a greyhound last night, and I made a best friend of my life. The three of us slept ass to ass inside of my full size bed. Ass, it ass, was ass, very ass, intimate. Ass, we ass, all ass, slept ass, well. <laughs> well, back to back to intimacy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I wanted to write write the perfect laundry romance novel <gasps> right. yes. I love this I love this I love this so uh, I, I I think the best way to do it is just kind of get everybody's input um, mm. my, my first thing was uh, you know I, I was reading Dirty Laundry and while I did find it sexy you know I, I am not a, a, a gay man so uh, I felt like I couldn't engage with the uh, romance in the novel so I think the ultimate thing uh, for this would be universal, like anyone could read this and kind of get fucking a laundry bottle, for instance. No, honestly, no. I we need to take a hentai route and anthropomorphize every single object in this room. I'm talking about the laundry machines, the dryers, the laundry bottles. Well, that yeah, okay. So you're you reading your mind. The hobby, but you're in the machine. I didn't, I didn't think about anthropomorphizing the machines. That's that's yeah, a whole other world. I said a vibrating wet hole. Exactly. I'm That's sorry true. to monopolize a conversation about this one idea, but I'm actually really passionate about it. This is exactly what we need, and it's a it's a safe space to be passionate okay, about. Okay, I'm laundry. talking a uh, laundry machine, and it's got a big hole. Uh huh. Yes. And and it's sort and it's sort of you know everyone's always talking about tight holes, but I'm sort of trying to I'm just, tied holes. Like tight, tight, oh, oh, oh yeah, tight yeah, yeah. holes. Okay. But I'm ta- we should be talking about wide holes. Okay. Sorry. No, don't th- but yeah. <laughs> There's a cultural stigma against wide holes. There is. Okay, a wide What's for wide holes? Wide holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not tight holes. <laughs> well, there is a stigma against that too. Hey, Forever Dog listeners, it's Jonathan Braylock, Jerome Milligan, and James the Third from Black Men Can't Jump in Hollywood. This year, we have seen what staying silent can do, and right now, you have an unprecedented opportunity to speak up. Cast your vote and be heard. It's never too early to register to vote, but it might be too late before you know it. We want to help make it easy for you to register and have a plan for November 3rd or before if early voting is an option in your state so that your country can finally reflect your values. Yes, go to foreverdogpodcast.com slash vote to register. Check on your registration often. You should do it like every day to make sure and learn how to fill out your ballot. (laughs) I don't know about every day, but listen. Every day. All right, still register. Good. Am I good? (laughs) All right. (laughs) Got to make sure people care. All right. Each state is different, so make sure you're following local rules and regulations. And remember, your voice, your vote. That's foreverdogpodcast.com slash vote. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Yeah, but y'all better vote. All right. Go vote. Hey everybody! Hi. It's Alice and I'm Veronica from, from Trex in the, the City. City. We are two women who are nerds, and we love Star Trek and love talking about it. That's right. But we're not exclusive like that. No, we're not those kind of fans. We're cool ones, like chill, sexy, young, and also old. Trex and the City. The City part means we talk about anything, <laughs> which is our right. To be perfectly honest with you, yeah. I just need you to understand that we have great guests. We have the dumbest bits and songs. Some Sometimes. And we talk about Deanna Troy in a way that she has deserved for her whole career. Fully underdeveloped character. So come on over to Trex in the City. Only on the Forever Dog Podcast Network. New episodes out every Monday. Woo! Woo! Can you afford to not know what left-handed radio is? You probably answered no, right? 
that's that's where you landed. So uh, what if this laundromat at the end of the night, because this was in a 24 hour laundromat, things came to life. And then I'm just going to put that out there and uh, just have a spitball sesh. We could figure out what this perfect universal romance novel could be. Are you you in it? Am I in it? Yeah. I think. No. I mean, uh, you can be in it if you want. Like, it's fine. It's fine. We'll write you in. No, No, we'll just say there's a. We we could all figure out what our. No, I'm not in it. You can be the strapping young male protagonist. I I, well again, I I just I don't want to have humans in there because I right right right. Oh, so they okay yes Mm -hmm. love that. Yeah, I just want to say one thing that this brought up for me, and we'll get back to the actual story, is that I want to say I'm uniquely qualified to do this because when I was a freshman in college, I was writing for the Ohio State Literary Humor Magazine. Congratulations. The Thank you so much. Yes. And I wrote That's an huge. erotic short story <laughs> for the magazine that was so disgusting that the university shut the magazine down. Oh, my, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, all the printing institutions refused to print it in the magazine um, or that was how it was related to me like years later I never knew what the reason was why the sundown got shut down and then they restarted it later but uh, my freshman year it got shut down because they hated it it's like the kinkos or something they hated it so much they were like we're not going to print this do you mean like kinky people the kinkos, the kinkos out there oh my kinkos, kinkos. Oh, my kinkos shout out to my kinkos all my kinkos Freaky sex. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. There was some. There was somebody in the chain that was like, "We cannot print this." And Wait, what was the story? The magazine got yeah. shut down. It was just like you know those like erotic short stories at the end of Cosmo magazine. Mm-hmm. I wrote my own version of that, and they were so horrified by it that it was just Wait, like printers read what they're supposed to print. I don't know. It there was someone ethical. in the process that was yeah. like, "We hate this. This is disgusting. They're it like, is we're disturbing and upsetting." Mm-hmm. And they refused to print the magazine, and it was enough to sh- end the magazine. <laughs> I support you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I would like to kind of piggyback off of that. And I feel really emotionally connected to you right now because one time I did make a flyer for a show with an anthropomorphized sexy horse. And when I went to pick it up from the printer, they had put uh, post-its all over um, the nipples and vagina <laughs> hole because cause when I picked it up so that the employees didn't have to look at them. Censored by the kinkos themselves. It was crazy. But not on the wow. print itself, just on the on top the- sheet. On the top sheet, okay. yeah, because you pick up you you enter the the printer space, you enter the space, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you're kind of exploring the space. <laughs> <laughs> there, just, there are piles of everyone's things that they pick up, and my pile was censored. There were like nudie wow. bars over them, sort of holes. entering the space doing a device theater piece. Sort of a site specific kind of um, pr- <laughs> <laughs> to piggyback off the piggyback. Uh, I uh, anthropomorphize zambonis a lot. That's my that's yes. just sort of my my little kinko. I'm a little kinko. Uh, and I went to uh, see a Zamboni once for something I was working on. It mm-hmm. wasn't about fucking a Zamboni, but mm-hmm. it was going to be eventually. Mm-hmm. And the Zamboni driver was like, we heard about you. And then he, <laughs> and he left. He left me alone with the Zamboni. And then you fucked the Zamboni. And I fucked the Zamboni. <laughs> cool. But it's not on tape. Well, I, I'm, I support it. I wish it was on tape. You're fucking a Zamboni. Yeah. Me too, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Would you be a viol- would, you, would you feel violated if I watched the tape? No, I would literally, I would give you the link and the password. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vimeo, high quality. Thank you so much. You don't want to see this in low quality. Um, so, so wait, let's get back to your story, Brett. What, uh, yeah. Uh, I, well, I just, I just laid out the rules that we should build in that no you, humans. Is it like just fucking or is it like, do you want love involved? I want love because it's not just fucking. I'm sorry. What's fucking without love? Am I right? I'm <laughs> sorry. Yes. 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 Oh. The most intense days. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't blinked in three minutes. <laughs> Can I sort I'm of bring up really... something really interesting yeah. visually? Think about the optics of putting a um, quarter in a slit. Thank you. Okay. Are you um, kidding me? Thank you. Mm-hmm. I have. Turn it on. I have. Honey. I have. And? Love it. Are we like yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, got uh-huh. a, we got a good slow nod going from Brent. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we got the bottles. We got the machines. We got uh, the coin Change machines? Let's personify know. these things. Okay. 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 The dryer is a uh, hulking, grunting maniac who vibrates in a dry heat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's sort of... Please. Someone's going to have to stop. Okay. Okay, be gone. So... What, what the dryer machine and the washing machine do is they come to life at night. 
<laughs> that's them. Oh, that's oh, gonna be smash such a <laughs> they smash holes. They smash holes. And there's no penetration. They just smash holes, but the holes line up in the most complimentary way. Yes. So one's vibrating. They're like they're both pulsing and throbbing and, and one's vibrating juicy. and mashing. And there's holes. like water going into the the dry one. <laughs> so it's like wa- and the water is boiling. So the, throbbing. Oh, oh, can okay, we stop? Can we, oh, <laughs> can we stop? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just it this rules this rules <laughs> and then they both die right. <laughs> all day they get so tired they just die all for the whole day and then yeah. they reawake at night and then they start again and then oh my 50 first dates beep, beep, beep. i'm literally crying that's really I'm literally nice. crying <laughs> they fuck themselves to exhaustion then they wake up the next day and do it all again just oh, like me love it. <laughs> the ultimate come is when you die seriously straight up if you that's well it. that's yeah a little death uh a little what about death, a big, little, big old death shakespeare uh, shakespeare. Uh, shakespeare. Uh, shakespeare a little death kill me please <laughs> Uh, kill me with your cum, please. Yeah, please. Sorry, I just st- tried to think of a Shakespeare line and couldn't, even though I went to college for four years and studied theater. But Brag. she dies in the Shakespearean sense of the word. She comes, she comes, <laughs> she comes. <laughs> out, out, brief candle. She, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, out, out, brief candle. Um, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> I will quote Shakespeare at the most inconvenient times. Okay, that's oh, sort that's of, kind of my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of my struggle is that I'm burdened with knowledge. So. <laughs> it's my um, college scholarship audition monologue and I'll never not know it. <gasps> Please, let's hear it. No, actually, I set, my, I, I set myself up to do it too aggressively and now I'm just like, <laughs> it's cheap. <laughs> what if it's a, like a Shakespearean era oh, a story? Piece. A period piece, yeah. Mm. Mm. So is that just like we're, we're putting... Sort of the same thing, but they're wearing gowns. Yeah, it's it like forbidden costumes on the. You oh. can't smash holes mm-hmm. in Shakespearean mm-hmm. time before mm-hmm. marriage. Before marriage, or ever, ever. No reproduction in that time. Oh no. my We're God. all just everyone who's alive today. Everyone who's over the age of ninety was alive when Shakespeare was there. Oh. And now we just started being allowed to have babies. Oh, wow. Sort of true. The Earth's been around for six thousand years. Oh wow! And it's very, very <laughs> flat. <laughs> Our big flat Earth has only been around for a very little while. Mm-hmm. I went on a, an accidental date in high school with a guy hmm. who, interesting. Um, <laughs> interesting that you went on a date in high school <laughs> I know heroically I went on a date in high school and um, we were in a Christian community theater together and okay. his, I won't say his name even though he'll never listen to this and he's very happy and I you know I'm good too and um, <laughs> he's married now but he was Mormon and still is and he was like uh, we're like Ki- we start this was like five minutes into a um, five mile kayak ride um <laughs> <laughs> And he, <laughs> so he trapped, he tricked you into a day and trapped you in the middle of the ocean. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it actually was a great day, but this part of it was not good where he was just like, you know, there's just not enough evidence for evolution for me. And I was like, <gasps> and there were still five miles left. <laughs> You're like, yes, Queen Slay Dragon. Yes, Queen Slay Dragon. Okay, no, off flat earth evolution. Yes, Queen 6,000 years. <laughs> With musical guest. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't With musical guest. We don't even look like monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> With musical guest, global warming is unreal. So I wash my clothes on hot (laughs) for six hours at a time. (laughs) Smash those holes, queen. Smash those holes. (gasps) I like like if during the day, like maybe people are like getting suspicious of like what's going on here at night because there there would be like dents in the machines, right? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. If they're smashing that hard. Oh, and maybe it causes drama for the people who own the laundromat uh, because they're like, "What are you doing to the machines? Why are these all dented? I don't know how this is happening." Because they figure out a way Mm -hmm. to make all the security cameras on the laundromat go off at night while they were smashing privates mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. I w- i'd say the security cameras would be in on it mm, yeah oh because they're yeah. anthropomorphized oh exactly. yeah. yeah they're, they're little voyeurs. kinkos they're mm-hmm. kinkos for the voyeur they're yeah. little kinkos mm-hmm. little kinkos honey it's a musical guess little kinkos <laughs> <laughs> i was just opening my rancid mouth to say the same thing <laughs> <laughs> your disgusting horrible mouth um, yeah <laughs> I thought I was going to start singing a song that didn't exist. So. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that they, it could. It, oh. Ooh, are there musical numbers? Well, is that? Well, I can't really have a note book. <laughs> I mean, we just read out some lyrics. It's an audio book. <laughs> yeah. I think there could be a musical number. Okay. I, I think there's, there's, there's no rules in this, in this world. We're, okay. we're making Put your there... hole up on my hole. Put your <laughs> hole up on my hole. That's all. Actually, um... Under the laundromat, that's where I fuck some holes. Oh, it's a jukebox <laughs> musical. Oh, it has to be. It has to be. <laughs> I laughed and I didn't even know that. Uh, 
<laughs> it's like a musical that uses a bunch of pre-existing songs. It's the laziest oh. thing yeah. that you can do. Oh, I sort of love that. That's kind of good. A little rock of ages. Like, this is maybe something I have in mind. Like, oh, uh, <laughs> you're ready. Our garments could use cleaning. Wait. Right? <laughs> What keeps the dryer when this is done, I have a video to show you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Who is this? Oh, this is uh, Edward Train. What? Huh. What? Covering uh, Daft Punk and Pharrell Williams. Got it. I like but this with version his own... better. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Is this Weird Al? Is that who this is? <laughs> no, Weird Al doesn't have any laundry songs. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's yeah. crazy. He's been around for 30 years. Do you mm-hmm. think? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Wow. Wait. She's up all night folding clothes. I'm up all night to do laundry. Oh. I don't like stopping before that. <laughs> you wow. know, I like where it landed. Yeah. So, Major, you don't have a, a song to share. Mm, no, I wish I did. Okay. I I do wish I could do that. Okay. So I like this. It's a. Mm-hmm. So we're, we're focusing more on the audiobook. And we, it's it's a jukebox musical. It's just a pitch. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. a little pitch. Oops. It's love that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we're all in agreement. That this is great. And we could, yeah. I have a, a lot of these songs in mind. Well, good. I mean, it's like we're halfway there. <laughs> Mitra's injured. Deep in the dark, you surrender your socks, but you know. Ooh. Good. Whoa. Good. Whoa. <laughs> that was great. Keep going. That was great. Oh, that's I sort of interesting. Um, was it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sing, honey. But you know, but you know that you can't fight the tide. Pause. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Cool. I feel like you're putting a lot of this writing on us. Whoa. <laughs> washing machine. <laughs> What's up? Okay. Oh, oh, that's okay. just an ad, but oh, uh, I was <laughs> I was loading this up because. Yeah. You know it's gonna be there. Something's been psycho on the cold yes. Put your dryer sheets down underneath the starlight. Starlight. I should sing the song. Feel the magical feeling so right. Keep it about laundry. Clean your Thank you. Clothes tonight. You're gonna try to resist. Try to. <laughs> And sucks. My laundry is wet. It's got period blood on all the stuff. Every article of clothing has my period blood on it. That's all. This not started white, but it's red. <laughs> all my clothes are soaked in your blood. <laughs> Can you do? Go for uh, three whole minutes. Yeah, no, I I loved <laughs> Thank it. Thank you. I truly loved it so much. I truly <laughs> loved it. We're incredibly we're incredibly trained. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> use that as uh, bed music for future episodes. Oh, bed yeah. music. Oh, 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 yeah, oh. just kind of say, "Hey, welcome to the show," and then you'll hear that <laughs> in screaming. the background <laughs> as loud as we can. Our voice is cracking because we've been screaming for the past three days. <laughs> So, um, Brett, you're dirty. Oops. Okay. Uh, sorry, just getting back to the notes. Uh, Should we it. go? Nope. 
Should we leave you guys? I just wanted to. Yeah. So let's let's. All right. We got the jukebox musical. Uh, We're maybe in a time of puritanical belief. Mm -hmm. Uh, At night, the lights go out and the machines come alive. Every machine is in on it. A spectrum of fetish uh, uh, all throughout the laundry. Throw some stuff out. Like what kind of fetish? Oh, let's uh, maybe maybe if you like uh, sort of like furries, like if you like like teddy bear sex. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I was just throwing a fur. Uh, I mean, a, well, a, a fetish. You're throwing out there. textiles into the holes. Yeah. So that's right. sort of like the those those fur and, fabrics. And now mm-hmm. we've got a group thing going. Once we add the textiles to the to the washer and the dryer, mm-hmm. that's a lot. And you can mash holes when there's shit inside of the machines. I like that. You know, there's the snuggle snuggy bear, snuggle. <laughs> it's a, the, the bear that loves the, the laundry. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 mm-hmm. that guy, that guy. Yeah. He jumps off the two dimensional plane of the label. Okay. Uh-huh. He does, he does. Yeah. So, you know, uh, maybe he or she is there. I like if like the security, the anthropomorphized like security cameras like blackmail everybody at one point because they have all the footage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they want in on the action and they're not. Right. Yeah. I they see. Get horny, horny blackmail. Because they're stuck right. to the ceilings. They just they have to watch. They want to get sprayed by the machine. Yeah. They sort of like getting cucked though by the machines. Like you know, mm-hmm. they're a little kinkos too. Mm-hmm. Okay, but maybe they're you know sometimes it's it's uh, cool to have your like you know personal sexual things put out to the world. Your person, yeah. not mine. No, you personally. No, I mean, I think maybe the the laundry machines would feel like a weight has been lifted if everyone really found out what they were doing and they can just kind of be themselves. It's like you and Tidy kind of. Thing. No, what? I mean, are you afraid I'm, of like what your family would think if they found out that you and Tidy, if you're fucking a laundry <laughs> bottle of laundry detergent? Do you want to talk about it? If I was fucking a bottle of laundry detergent, if. I think if I was just able uh, to flaunt it to the world, mm-hmm. flaunt, um, it. yeah, cool. Uh, then maybe I wouldn't uh, do so many things that are destructive, to both me and uh, other people. Mitra, I have a question for you, really quick. Mm-hmm. As you touched the laundry bottle earlier, how full is it? Really full. Okay. 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 Of what? Did not open. Only touched. <laughs> but get your hands off me. Oh. Please don't. Yeah. Can we? May we open the okay. bottle? Nope. <laughs> Can we get your hands off me? My, I, okay. Okay. Brad, I'll leave this... you alone. I feel like it might be like a combination of substances. Maybe. I mean, she has agency, so I'm not going to touch her again. But I will um, ask you, Brett, what is inside of the bottle? It, this just tied. <laughs> okay, Brett. But we, well, then can we just like open it and? I love the smell of Tide. Sure. Nope. Is there a little smell of bleach also as well, sort of inside of? I mean, there's a bleachy smell to the tide. I think there's a lot of thick substances in there, but like it's hard to it's say. Very vi- it seems viscous. like it would have a viscous sort of. Are you shaming me right now? Uh, no, I just we're just no, we're just trying to curious. achieve clarity. Since you're talking about wanting to talk about it with the world, it'll be easier for us to help y- y- you. Can I just be you. really straight with you right now? Yeah, I am. I mean, I don't know about the other girls. Uh-huh. If I may be so bold, mm-hmm. I support your relationship with this Tide bottle. Really? Yes. And I think that everyone in the world would be accepting of it. You just have to let us open it. I honestly, <laughs> I, I'm, okay, yeah. I'm open to accepting it. Okay. Yeah. Can we go, open go it? Go for it. <laughs> okay. Who'd like to do the honors? All right. I, I'd, I'll happily give it a little on screen. Okay. Well, there there's a smell. It smells like there has been tied in here at some point. Does anyone? Want, you're dirty. Does anyone want to give it a waft? I'm getting a vibe over here, but yeah, it's mostly cum right now. It's the, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's, okay. 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 You can say. You can say. You can say. That's so fine. It's totally fine that you. Came, yeah. And it's a big, it's a, it's a 20 ounce. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big bottle. Yeah. Uh, I used it a lot. I used a lot of it. And then, you know, eventually, uh, 
the uh do you mind if i put the cat back <laughs> oh yeah no go ahead okay 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 i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> this spells like uh tied in your gum <laughs> yeah yeah sorry yeah <laughs> Okay. Well, feel discharged. I think <laughs> that you Some will of it has feel better with this burden lifted off your chest, and okay. I think that you will like this. I, do you feel better? Do you feel like you're walking feel, lighter? Yeah. It suddenly feels very hot. In this room. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I could. Uh, I could ask them to turn the AC on. But, yeah. Um, that would. No. Don't worry about it. But I'll get used to it. We're we're coming to the mm-hmm. to the end of the show. Um, coming. We're coming to the. End. <laughs> coming like I came in the Tide bottle. <laughs> See, look. Yeah. <laughs> See, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't it feel good to say it out loud? In it public? does feel good. It does feel really good. I love you. I love you, Tidy. <laughs> I love you too, Brett. Thanks. <laughs> Aww. I do sort of like want to just like go out to coffee with Tidy alone and see what she says when you're down in the room. <laughs> she would, she doesn't say any, anything. Okay. Okay. Brett, your teeth are clenched. <laughs> yeah. Your, your whole body's very tense right now. Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. What a smell. This is your wedding dance, you and Tidy. Oh my god. Who's ordained? Who's wow. ordained? Not I'm getting ordained right now. <laughs> She's doing it online. She's such a hero. Oh, wow. yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? I was, trying to, I was trying to do the wedding while they were singing the song. Oh, it was sorry. a really beautiful moment. No, no, it's oh, fine. Yeah. It's fine. The, the, the song just ended. Oh, but sure, I can... No, no, the moment is Make passing. Sure I'm embarrassed. I just got ordained on the internet. Okay. So, um, all right. Well. So is this legally binding? Well, we're going to do the wedding, and then you have to like do some paperwork. And stuff. Okay. But this is the ceremony, so. Okay. <laughs> Wait, are we not going to talk to Tidy before they get married? Actually, yeah, we should talk to Tidy. Wait, can you, Tidy. Brett? Can can we just have a second with Tidy? Can sure. you actually? Oh, actually, because you need to put my laundry in the dryer, anyways. Oh, yeah. Before I can head out, I'll be back. Yeah, sorry. Tidy, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Tidy, do you feel safe? Tidy, Honestly, literally, we are worried. You are full of. Cum. I didn't even leave the room. Yet. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Brett, could you actually? Leave but yeah, I quick? I'm worried about the wash. <laughs> Again, I really appreciate the favor, and I forgot that you did invest in yeah. my being here. And I just, you know, it could get... It, I'll just... Sure, sure. I'm sure. going to go. Okay. Tidy. Look at me. Look at me. Wait, is Brett gone? <laughs> okay, Brett's gone. Tidy, tidy, tidy. tidy, tidy. What's, tidy. Up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Is this like an emotionally manipulative situation? Like, how do you feel? How do we know which one of us she's looking at? <laughs> it's really hard to say. I sort of feel like we're projecting a narrative onto her because we're so sort of like taken aback by the relationship that I think we're, I mean, we are projecting judgment yeah. onto her. Listen, if you're cool with this, we're cool with this, but we just like want to make sure that you're safe, good, feel like you have like a full, you know, choice, you know? Okay. Just, it is wild that she is not saying anything. I mean, she is dribbling out of the hole a little bit, so I don't, it is, is that a tear? <gasps> <gasps> Happy to your side, dear. Happy to your side, dear. Happy to your dad, Tidy. Tidy, we're going to steal you out of here. We're going to get you out of here. As soon as the podcast Shh. is over, I'm going to put you in my big purse. Oh, my God. I'm going to put you in my big purse. Brave. I'm going to take you to my house. Brave. I'm going to take you to my house. You'll be safe there. I, I can't believe she just cried a single tear of Brett's gum. <laughs> That's truly wild. Oh, she's vibrating a little. Oh, I think she just, you know, I mean, I've had a lot of relationships like this, Tidy, where, you know, it was, go- things were going well, but I just sort of felt guilty that, um, you know, one person was more invested in it than the other. Just take a step you're not ready for. It's fine. You can just, oh. do you want us to end it for you? Brett. Brett's coming back with my laundry. <laughs> <laughs>
I got some He's witnesses. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry. Um, I actually just got unordained while you were gone. I can't. I can't do the. I can't do the ceremony. It's just like a legal thing. It was totally fake random. It was fake so website. crazy. It was so it was random. It was so <laughs> random. The website just kind of crashed on her. It's really sad. I can't access the certificate anymore, so it must oh, be illegal. Jesus, yeah. Well, you just got stolen. You know, twenty dollars gone out the window. Really uh, sad. I'm Boy, sorry, but you know, I kind of I wanted to make this a um, a bigger thing. So, um, who are these witnesses? Tidy. Oh, the clothes. <laughs> Got it. Those are my clothes. Yeah. Um, some well, of them are still wet. I, I apologize. Speak, I but speak for them. I speak I, for my clothes. Uh, tidy. Uh, I felt like I was keeping this love a uh, a secret from the world. And uh, thanks to my, my very uh, positive um, woke friends mm -hmm. that uh, accept, you know, whomever for whomever they are, uh, will you marry me? Yes. All right. <laughs> Some engagements last a long time. Now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, no, you guys should totally have a long engagement. A really a long, long engagement. A really long engagement. It's I'm actually of... very pro long engagement because you need to be able to like live together, experience loss together, experience mm -hmm. big changes together, see how the other person grows and develops over the course of a year. Actually, on April eighth, we're doing a live uh, recording of the podcast for Laundry. Oh so. my god, well, that's, that's awesome! Exactly. Okay. It has nothing to do with the whole engagement, but we're thrilled for well, your show. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there might be a wedding. Or well. so kind of like I feel like she hasn't had a chance to look at venues because it's kind of like the bride got to go like a year in advance. Take a while so finding a dress, getting the dress tailored, yeah. getting well, the dress give tailored. people a chance to get the transportation. Maybe I'll make a little dress for her. Wow, you should mm -hmm. let her pick the dress and talk about it with like some of her friends, and maybe she could stay at my place for a little while. Will be, <laughs> will be. Mm, nope, nope. I, I, I think I know what she likes in she, clothes. We'd love, okay. to, we'd love to take her out for a bachelorette night, perhaps oh. out of the state. And like Please we do, need yeah. to have her mother kind of involved in this. There's always mm, sort of a, like a mother. You I'd know. love to come out for a bachelorette party. I've never done <laughs> No, it's snow boys allowed. Sorry, yeah. sort of. A hate to be exclusionary, but it's not well, for you. Uh, who's to say Tidy's not a boy? Well, I never. Let's... You know, you gave her the whole fucking voice and keep saying her so <laughs> <laughs> with musical guest her well. <laughs> with musical guest the movie her <laughs> sort of a little bit a uh, related kind of situation with that text to speech <laughs> <laughs> mm, notes of Spike Spike Jones Jones oh, oh sorry oh. I'm back on board well actually never mind mm. I'm putting my feminism card away and I'm singing Leanne <laughs> Rhymes now <laughs> 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 Thanks so much for being guests on the show. Yeah. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Thanks, Tidy, Thank you, Tidy. Thank we'll you, talk later. Come, uh, come hang out with us after after the show, Tidy. We'd love to talk to you more. On a This has been a Forever Dog production. Executive produced by Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. For more original podcasts, please visit foreverdogpodcasts.com and subscribe to our shows on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Keep up with the latest Forever Dog news by following us on Twitter and Instagram, at Forever Dog Team, and liking our page on Facebook. Sketch Podcasting Code is being downloaded into your podcast right now. If you want to learn more, go to a different podcast called Left Handed Radio.